I had to learn a lot of lessons about love, and I'm still learning. Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love, and I hope that you are doing well. I have several books that I refer to, and I'm always buying new books, but this one I talked about before, Secret, The Power. This is Rhonda Byrne, and it's about the law of attraction, uh, about love, relationships, um, this is about, let me see, I just want to read, uh, what is the power? These are some of the names of some of the chapters, the power of feelings, feeling fre frequencies, the power in creation, the power in money, the power in relationships, the power in health. It's a real good book. So anyway, I was reading today about the power of love. And the book goes on to say, I know hundreds of relationships that have been restored through the power of love. The singer Stephanie Mills, if you are listening, listen to R&B music. She has a beautiful song from the 80s. I learned to respect the power of love. That is a good song. Love is quite powerful. And I remember uh, being in therapy years ago. You know, we were talking about relationships. And my therapist at the time, very sharp, wise woman. And she was like, some of the problem, problems in relationships is the will or the need to be right. So when you talk to couples that have trouble, it's a need to be right. They are always right. This one person is always right and the other person is always wrong. And when you come from that angle, it's kind of like an immature way to think, especially as you're older, 40s, 50s, 60s. We should know, like, it takes two to tang tango. And, you know, nobody is always right. You got to really, like, do that self-evaluation thing. That thing is real. And once you look at your, yourself, you can, once you look at yourself, sorry, I touched my earbud. You can um, see that, man, I'm not so great all the time either. It's not always that other person. It, it's both of you all. It's a 50-50 give and take. Yes, we do admit there are some people in relationships that are a lot more difficult than the other person. Somebody's doing maybe 80, maybe somebody's doing 20, or maybe it's a 70, 30, 60, 40. However it goes, there are some relationships where it's 50-50, where people, the couple is really working well together and they get it. But a lot of times it's our own stuff that's preventing us from being a great partner. And what about when someone wants to walk away? The book goes on to say, love means freedom. Now here's the tricky bit with giving love in relationships. And it's the one thing that has prevented many from receiving the life they deserve. It's only tricky because people have misunderstood what it means to give love to others. To be very clear about what it means to give love to others, you need to understand what it means not to give love to others. Trying to change another person, that is not giving love. Thinking you know what's best for another person is not giving love. Thinking you are right and the other person is wrong is not giving love criticizing blaming complaining nagging or finding fault with another person is not giving love so i i did this when i went through my divorce over 22 or three years ago i lost track it don't even matter anymore but i would uh talk to people you know they'd be like oh you got a divorce or you're divorced yeah so what did he do you know oh okay well he was abusive but I will always follow it up with, but I didn't do everything right either. Really? What? Okay. I'm some 23 year old kid that got married. Um, uh, what the hell did I know about marriage? I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it out. Just like he was. Okay. Now being abusive, that's a whole nother level of, uh, self hate and just, you know, ridiculousness because you shouldn't even be putting your hands on people or cursing them out. That just, that's just a whole nother big problem that is a no-no you know we should never put up with that type of behavior nor give it but I'm not going to go out and tell everybody I did everything right and I was a perfect wife 
because it's no such thing. So I think um, I'm doing a lot of rambling on here. But what I'm trying to say about love and the law of attraction and all, and all of that, give the love freely, not to the point of being a doormat, but stop trying to control the other person. We have to stop with the criticizing, the blaming, the complaining, the nagging, and finding fault with another person. It's not going to help. Whatever your situation is, if you're constantly tearing them down, constantly nagging them, constantly finding fault with them, constantly blaming them for your relationship woes, you are sure to fail in this relationship. It's not going to bridge the gap that's there. When you love someone, one of the best things you can offer is freedom to them. You know, maybe you're having, maybe you're in a relationship and it's strained or your person is pulling away. Allow them to because trying to hold on to them is not going to help. Blaming them is not going to help. Getting all mad at them is not going to help. You just really be hurting yourself. And that's where, if you are in a strange place in your relationship, take the focus off of them and put it back on you and work on yourself and find happiness within you. And once you feel better, you are going to radiate happiness and love, and that's going to draw that person in to you. I mean, some people, we just not meant to be with each other. And once we become peaceful with that, it makes life a lot better. Don't try to force your foot. You know you wear a size nine. You're trying to put on a six and a half. It just doesn't work. So love is a lifetime lesson that we have to learn how to give. And we want to give it to ourselves first. But give grace again to that other person. Don't keep criticizing and trying to coerce or make something happen that's not love that's control and like lauren london said when she lost nipsey hustle i'm learning i'm really not in control of very much we're not in control you all stop stop and once you let go of trying to fix and control everything watch how your life gonna flow it's gonna flow together i had i had some plans over these last two to three weeks all my stuff is just busted up everything i thought i wanted is going the opposite way <laughs> but it's going good though it's it's all working itself out you know it's all it's not bad it's all good and that's why i try to tell you all on this channel with me if i tell you i want to buy a house and that situation doesn't go the way i want it to go i don't be busted up because I know it's all good. Like God is the one that's orchestrating my life to go which way it's supposed to go. And if you just lay back and trust his divine timing and order, everything always comes together. It's going it's all good. I'm not hurting for nothing. So I hope you all can understand what I'm saying. I hope something I said helped you. I know it's a bit rambly. Um love is one of those subjects where it's not a straight line it's a zigzag it's a it's a up a da, up and down ebb and flow which type of subject tammy sharice walker can't say my own name and i'm getting out of here and have a beautiful day thank you for listening always bye bye